deficits and now QE on top of that. We've created massive amounts of money and that devalues, that debases the currency. We debase the dollar in the boom. When you get this bubble burst, when debt deleverages, you're destroying money. When when financial assets go and a Dow goes from six seventeen thousand to six thousand, that is destroying two thirds of people's wealth in the stock market overnight. Less dollars chasing the same goods is the definition of deflation, and that's how you get deflation. But less dollars also means they're more scarce, and we're we're reversing the debasement of our uh, our currency. So really, this this crisis is exactly what would put the dollar back in balance, would make real estate more affordable sure. for young families again, stocks better, long term investments, all this sort of stuff. We need this reset, and governments just don't want it to happen because nobody wants the music to stop in the, on their chair. You know, everybody wants the crisis to hit the next administration. Sure. So central banks and, and, and politicians around the world just keep printing money to cover over the crisis, keep the banks from falling over. The banks would have gone under a lot of them. We would have, we had a 1930s scenario building. And you know what? As bad as the 30s were, we had a huge debt detox. And we basically cut the debt from 190% of GDP in this country to 60% in, in, in the next several years. And that allowed us to grow again. A 30-year so boom. 30-year boom. Yeah. Yeah, an incredible boom to follow that. We came roaring out of it. We're not coming out of this. I cover in chapter two in the book, I talk about the J Japan coma economy. Japan has been doing this QE stuff since 1997 when they went off their demographic cliff. And I was one, one of the only people in the world that predicted the downturn of Japan in 1989. Um, and, and they've been doing QE ever since. They have not uh, deleveraged their sure. debt. They have not rebalanced their economy. Sure, I mean, so I mean, undoubtedly, you're right. That's why they call you, you know, top pro in CNBC. But let's just expand on this then in, in layman's terms for folks. What with, with what the global policies are right now versus what we think they should be, what do you see happening the next few years? Does this happen overnight? Does it happen in a process? I mean, I know, I know you, generally, I mean, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but but what do you see happening? Well, we, we do kind of have a crystal ball. We predicted this downturn, Alex, by the way, my first book in 1989. We predicted the simultaneous collapse of Japan in the 90s and the greatest boom in history and the greatest stock market surge in history for the United States and Europe. What we do is we look at demographics. People enter the workforce age 20, earn and spend more money raising their kids and families, buying houses, borrowing money, and they peak at age 46. Now, everybody doesn't, but the average person spends the most money in their life at age 46. So the simplest indicator I have of many, but it is, I call it the spending way, we just move forward the birth index in any developed country and, and move it forward 46 years for that peak in spending where people will have the highest impact, the highest numbers. And that would have told me, and it did tell me in 1988, that we had a boom from 1983 with baby boomers that was going to last until about 2007, and then the baby bust would slow down our economy, less spending, less house buying, less borrowing, all those things until about 2023. So we predicted these demographic headwinds and that we would go into a crisis starting in 2008, just with demographic. But, but there's another factor that's equally important. We've seen the greatest debt bubble, which then in turn fueled the greatest real estate bubble in modern history. Debt got up to about four times GDP in this country versus 190% at the top of the roaring 29 bubble, so twice as much debt. And that doesn't count $67 trillion in unfunded entitlements. Well, that's my question. How do those two bubbles collapsing go together? They go down at the same time? or? Yeah. Well, well that, that's what happened. At some point when, when this QE doesn't work or something triggers, like, like last time, the subprime price in the U.S. triggered stock crashes and, and debt crises around the world. Because all it takes is a trigger when demographics are slowing and debt is, is twice as high as it's ever been in history and four times if you count entitlements. All it takes is something to pop the bubble. I think it's going to be Germany going off the Germany's downturn looks just like Japan's did to us in the late 80s. It's the steepest downturn in demographic spending of any country in the world at this point. And China's got an off the charts, and I mean off the charts, real estate and debt bubble. They have overbuilt everything in their economy 10, 12, 15 years ahead for and moved people, 220 million people in 12 years into cities with no skills. They got seven, 27 percent. It's a time bomb. bomb. It's a time bomb. It's an absolute time bomb. It's an urban disaster. These people aren't even registered citizens in these cities. They're, they're like illegal Mexicans in the United States. They're tolerated in a boom. They 
will not be tolerated in a bus, and they get no benefits, no education, no health care. Harry no Dent, welfare. stay there. This is incredible. I want to hear about how these time bombs go off together. Wow. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Right now at Emergency Essentials, get free shipping on every order over $150. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Did you know that gold and silver contain healing properties? It's true. Since the beginning of mankind's history, gold and silver have not only been used as real money, but also for healing our minds and bodies. Utopiasilver.com is your leading source for colloidal silver and colloidal gold supplement protocols that can heal and enhance your health. Call 888-213-4338 or visit utopiasilver.com for weekly discounts and sales. That's utopiasilver.com. Fighting for liberty and healing one American at a time. Jones here back live. Harry Dent is our guest for the balance of the hour. I will give the phone number out after we clear the phone lines. I'm sorry to all those that are holding patiently. We're going to shift gears to another subject at the start of the next segment, the economy. And we will take a few phone calls for our guest. He's got his new book out dealing with this. And, and 
I mean, I don't just immediately believe whatever I read. He's had so many predictions that have come accurately true. He, of course, was a big strategist at Bain Capital that has to understand the future of companies and things to make the right decisions with what they do in acquisitions or in sales. But when you look at this, this is all the big governments talk about is the demographic cliffs. You've got from Italy to Japan to Russia to Germany to England to the, the whole UK, the US, Canada. You got a 1.4, 1.3, 1.5 replacement rate. You need 2.1 children. Parents have 2.1 children on average to just replace the society. So it's not just a demographic boom cliff we're at. It's that's the death of the West that Pat Buchanan wrote about a decade ago. So you were getting into China and the time bomb, uh, and they've got all their crazy problems in just empty ghost cities they've built. And then you've got uh, all the government corruption going on and no real social goals. And then a, a police state being set up. Well, I mean, where is it all going to go as all these countries go off the cliff in the next five years? Well, you know, it, it can only go one direction. Japan's already showed us what happened. Japan was the first country to see their baby boom peak. They had a real estate bubble. People thought real estate could never go down. I said, no, this bubble's going to burst. Their stock bubble burst. So that's what happens. Wealth gets destroyed suddenly, then real estate goes down. People don't realize real estate's down 60% in Japan and, 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 and never has bounced 22 years later because you've got more older people dying and they're sellers of real estate than young people who buy between the age of 27 and 42. I mean, we know exactly when people buy home. So, so people don't realize the consequences, not only is the baby boom peaking in more and more countries, and when it does, you see these bubbles burst, you see real estate go down, you see stocks collapse, then that causes bad loans and banks, and then they fail, and then that destroys debt, and that destroys money, as they said. They, they, these bubbles do burst. Japan already burst, and everybody's thinking, well, that's just Japan. Well, you U.S. came next. We predicted that. Europe is the next uh, major region to see a major downturn in demographic spending, starting with Germany, the steepest, the U.K., uh, um, Austria, and then Italy. Uh, but then all these countries go off the cliff. And East Asia, Japan's gone off, but, but South Korea comes a few years from now. China is the first emerging country to see their workforce peak. It's already slowing. It'll slow a bit the next 10 years. And then they go off the cliff, an emerging country. All other emerging countries have incredible demographic trends for decades to come. So, so this is predictable stuff. But the important part, as I was saying earlier, with all this debt and all these real estate bubbles around the world, and the real estate bubble in China is, is far more far more overvalued than anywhere else. And then and, and with high vacancy rates. I mean, can you imagine a real estate market where you got 27% of condos vacant and prices are still going up? So what happens, Chinese. NASA came out with a report yesterday and said the end of industrialized society, the British Ministry of Report in 2007 was classified but leaked, saying they believe in basically global total collapse and, uh, and the governments are digging in for that. Uh, why not try to reverse this? Is there any way to reverse it? You know, the only thing you do, you could learn a, a lesson from business governments could. I call it Chapter 11. You know, they used to have Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which they have, where you just basically a fire sale. You sell the assets, distribute the proceeds to creditors, and you're over. Well, that's a dumb way to do it. The United States came up with the innovation of Chapter 11, where the courts protect a company long enough for it to sell off its assets and more orderly, not a fire sale, to cut costs, and most importantly, to renegotiate debts with creditors. You go to your creditors say, look, if we go on fire sale, you're going to get 10 cents on the dollar if you're lucky. But if you we, if you let us write down your debt to us 50 percent, which is a win-win for you, then, then we'll be able to continue forward. We need to restructure the debt. We, it wasn't just the $17 trillion in government debt. We created $42 trillion in private debt. And that debt Basically, most of it was created under George Bush between 2000 and 2008 and during the bubble part of the boom. If we just wrote that debt back down to pre-bubble levels, we would get rid of $21, $22 trillion of debt overnight. Now, the banks would have to take hits, but they're the ones that should take the hits. They're the ones that lent this money to unsophisticated They're the ones that created the derivatives. Yeah, they created the derivatives that financial institutions 
need to take this hit, not Homer Simpson. And Homer Simpson's been taking the hit with underwater mortgages, falling real wages. If they do that again, they're going to kill Homer Simpson. And then, and then who are the banks going to live off of if they kill the golden goose? I want to ask you that and talk about your book that breaks this down that obviously everybody needs to read. Harry Dent, HarryDent.com is our guest. And I'll tell you what's scary. Everything he's saying is right there if you follow the news, folks. We'll be right back to break down his forecast. We're on the march.